What up, gang? A lot of people been asking me when I was going to drop a new video. I, I just dropped one today. It wasn't that good of a video. Because uh, my first first load back from home time, so it was like, um, I don't know, man. I had to get back in the groove of things. Had to get back into it. And um, it felt like I, I wasn't... I wasn't uh I wasn't as consistent with it as as I normally do. But you know, y'all got to understand, you know, I am working. The whole time I'm making these videos, I'm still working. So, uh, you know, if I got time to do anything while I'm while I'm working, I do it. But if I don't have time, you know, I just can't do it cuz like this load I got right now, I got some uh loaded loaded insulation back there. It's a three tarp load. Three tarp load. Had to put edge protectors up there. I didn't have edge protectors, so I had to use V wars. So I got I got the uh, got my straps up there. I got ready to tighten them down. As soon as I started tightening the first one, I looked at it. I was like, that ain't gonna work because it was starting to dig into the insulation. So I had to get the ladder, climb up there, take all my V bores out. A little bit later on down the line, you know, you might see a lot of truckers with all them edge protectors stacked up on the back of that truck, them colorful ones. But I, I don't have any yet. I don't have any. I ain't acquired none yet. So good thing I had those V-Bores. Because uh, my load notes were saying that the company was going to provide them to me. But um, that's what it said in my load notes. But they didn't provide them. So I was pretty much SOL. And uh, TMC trucks, that were, there was like two TMC trucks. They had their own edge protectors with TMC on them. So I, I guess the company gave it to him, but uh, I don't have Melton that give me none. And the other Melton driver that was there, he had some, and he was telling me that he got his from the inspection bay from somebody leaving them behind or whatever. And um, but I was like, yeah, I never got, I never got any of those edge protectors. So I had to unloosen my straps, get back up there, put all the damn V boards. Uh, got done with that. The other Melton driver that were there, he helped me tarp. He helped me, uh, I climbed on top, dropped the tarp down, he bungeed it, got it pinned, and uh, after we did mine, he pulled his truck up, and then I helped him do his too, so uh, I had to return the favor, you know, get that shit done, man. I, I mean, I didn't, this, is on, it's, this, this, this load was like 846 miles, I got to deliver it Monday, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., so I got plenty of time to get it there. Like right now, I'm at a truck stop, what time is it? 626 I hardly ever get off the road this early I always I always drive to like nine o'clock every night eight nine o'clock that's usually how long I stay out but you know the problem when, when you're driving that late you know truck stops fill up and all this and that so um past couple nights last night I got out the road early I got out the road early tonight I go ahead and get up in the morning knock out the rest of this uh, load I'm gonna get all the way there tomorrow I might, I might maybe 20, 30 miles out because they don't have any truck stops in Foxboro. They got one truck stop that I seen on Trucker Path. And uh, it's a paid truck stop, 15 bucks. And they still don't have a lot of spots. But I'm, I'm going to probably try to get if, if I don't have no other option, that's where I'm going to go. It's, I just had to pay for that part because they don't have any truck stops. I didn't even see a Walmart on the Trucker, uh, trucker Path. But uh, I'm going to definitely look at it tomorrow and figure it out. It's a TA that I seen on the app, but it's like a hundred miles away. And I don't and since the load delivers at ten o'clock, I could stay a hundred miles away, but I don't want to do that. Because then I would have to start my clock super early. And that would affect me later on in the day. Uh with going to get another load and getting a good start on that. So I'm not going to start my clock to drive a hundred miles. I, I probably have to start my clock like seven o'clock in the morning. They have the load there by ten. And no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, the point of this quick little video right here wasn't to, wasn't to, um, it wasn't to, you know, talk about my low skimmer and all that. It wasn't even about that. This video was just about me putting this out there. I just want, I just want to say this. I make, I make these videos because, because I, I like it. it. It's, it's a hobby. It's a hobby while I'm out on the road. You know, I can, uh. You know, it just it keeps me busy. When I get in the sleeper at night, you know, I get on YouTube and edit a video or whatever. You know, I like to take pictures. I'm also a photographer. Uh, that's uh, 
I do that at back at home, do photography, do weddings, birthday parties, um, work with models, stuff like that. So yeah, I like taking pictures. I like taking pictures. I like making these YouTube videos. Uh, it's, it's just fun for me to do it. And, and then, you know, when I get good comments from people, you know, telling me to stay positive and, you know, they like my, y'all like my positive attitude and, you know, and, and then I really like to get the comments where people be like, well, you know, I went and got my CDL from watching your video. Uh, my very first video that I ever made before I even thought about becoming a YouTube trucker, um, I did an inspection video, uh, FTA pre-trip, my first video that I made when I was in CDL school. And I made, like, it doesn't really have that, the editing is not that good on it, but I, I mean, because I really wasn't, you know, I don't know, it was just fucking around. That's when I did it. But yeah, I've had people, I've had people message me or send emails. They're like, uh, yeah, man, I watched the video. Uh, that video helped me get my CDLs. Uh, it's a pretty good pre-trip inspection. It's, it's a good pre-trip inspection for that particular school that I was at because the way that I did it, exactly how they do it on the test. So maybe it might not work for somewhere else, but you know, for that for that particular school, it's it's the perfect video because I, I I did it the same way. I actually did that video after I um after I already passed my pre-trip. So yeah, I knew what the fuck I was talking about. The only thing I missed on the pre-trip was uh I missed the suspension. I missed, but I missed that on the video on the actual pre-trip test. When I tested, I didn't miss it, but when I remade the video. I, I, I missed out on saying it, and I noted it on the video as well. And I also didn't record me doing a lab test. I mean, but I know how to do a lab test, but I just didn't record it. Maybe one day I'll um I'll do a lab test video. But uh, anyway, that's why I like to make my videos. You know, just to give myself a hobby. I, I like the I like the encouragement that 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 y'all give back to me, and you know. Y'all tell me positive stuff, and you know I like to tell y'all positive stuff. But the point, the whole point of this video, man, when I woke up this morning, I had I had a lot of negative comments on one of my videos. This ain't the first time I had negative comments. But when I woke up this morning, I had like I had like ten of them from the same person. Like he must have watched like ten videos, like back to back. And every time he watched the video, he left a negative comment. I'm not gonna repeat any of those negative comments. But I didn't even I didn't even respond back to the guy. You know what I did? I erased the comments. I blocked the guy from my channel. That's what I did. I'm not gonna promote negativity. I'm not gonna get involved in negativity. So if anybody has anything negative to say about my videos, you know you don't have to watch them. Um, I mean if you want to take the time to watch out ten videos, you know that's that's on you. Obviously, that tells me you ain't got nothing else to do but hate. That's all it is. Hate. I was watching a guy from CR England last night, um, Billy Rains, talking about the haters. I, I mean, that guy. I'm not a fan of CR England. I'm not. A, I wouldn't want to go work there. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't ride three people in a truck. I couldn't do that shit, man. But um, uh, to each his own. You know, some people they they're not in the same. They're not in the same position as somebody else. So if somebody has to go to CR England and get their license. That's what they got to do. Because, you know, CR England, they, 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 might, they might take you, you know, if you got some other shit going on that another company might not want to deal with you. So I was watching his video about, um, you know, talking about the haters and whatever. I mean, that, that dude's funny as hell, man. That dude's fucking funny. I like watching him. Even though I don't like CR England, but he's a cool dude, though. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to address the haters. I'm not even going to do it. But I'm just going to say this. I'm not going to engage with the haters. I'm not going to promote negativity. You're not going to get a negative attitude out of me because I'm staying positive. I'm doing what I got to do. I came to Melton because this company hired me. I mean, so this this to get, this is to get my foot in the door in the trucking industry. That's that's why I'm doing it. I mean, so I don't if anybody else don't agree with that, that's on you. Like uh one guy told me one of my, I'm I'm the captain of this motherfucking ship. Most of the time y'all see me in the front seat, but I'm back here sitting in my sleeper berth. I got to use a little flashlight. Ooh, this motherfucker bright. I ain't got no good lights back here in the back of this truck, man. I, I got a light right there, but that motherfucker ain't bright. Yeah, I got a... So, hey, y'all really can't see me. I got my flashlight shining on me. 
Oh, hey, shiny. What's that song Jay-Z and Beyonce? Shiny, 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 shiny. Y'all I mean, uh, know that damn song? Yeah, I like that song, man. I, I listen to it sometimes while I'm riding. Yeah, man, I'm at the Loves, man. Loves right here in, uh, where it's where at? I just, I just told my other uh, buddy where I was at. I'm, uh, Jonestown, Pennsylvania. That's where I'm at, at the Loves. Yeah, I'm off the road early tonight, man. I wonder if they got a TV in there where I can go in there and uh, watch some, watch a little all-star festivities or something. And tomorrow night, since I don't got to get the load there uh, till, till um, Monday at 10, I'm going to try to watch the all-star game somewhere tomorrow. So I'm, I'm definitely going to try to find me somewhere good to park at. Anyway, I'm out, man. One more time. I don't give a damn about the haters. If you don't like Melton, you don't like Melton. That's on you. I'm doing what I got to do for me. I ain't doing this for nobody else. I'm doing this for me. And, 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 the, and the ones that love my videos and, you know, y'all love watching my channel, I'm doing this for y'all as well. Before you hate us, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing to say, man. Well, I'm going to sit here, drink my damn coffee. Sit in my melting truck that they put me in, even though it's a Freightliner and I wanted a Kenworth. It is what it is. At the end of the day, this motherfucker drive just like a damn Kenworth. Hell, it could be a Mack truck. It, it drives just like a Mack truck. It might not go as fast as, I mean, you know, if they got the governor on that motherfucker, but this motherfucker puts money in my pocket. This company puts money in my pocket. That's That's all that matters at the end of the day. So, I'm going to go ahead and close this off. Y'all have a good night. If you a hater, go and exit off my page. If you fuck with your boy, go ahead and drop a like. Drop a comment. If you fuck with me, drop a comment down in my, in my comment section and tell me you fuck with me. Flatbed game, man. I'm out.